Good morning, guys. Today is November the 11th, Monday. I'm headed to work. It is quite rainy outside and dark, and it's going to be one of those days. Did I even put my earrings on? I have to look to see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, today's one of those mornings you just don't, you know, one of those mornings when you wish you didn't work. Today was that, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, it's raining, and I am headed out to work. Fix my seat. Hubby's been in the car yesterday, and he always likes to sit back. Anyway, see my nails? I changed them. These are the these are the ones I showed you in the hall that are you have to use the glue. Um, anyway, it's rainy. Y'all can tell by looking out the window. The winder. It is rainy and it's supposed to start snowing at three. But in order to snow, the temperature is gonna have to drop a whole lot. Because it's not cold outside. A little bit chilly but it's not cold outside by any means. It's like, well, how's this supposed to, sorry, how's this supposed to start snowing at three o'clock when, I don't know. I guess the temperature's just gonna have to start dropping. And it very well could. I'm in Arkansas. We have the kind of weather that, you know, you dress for, you can dress for winter on your way to work, to go to work. And then on your way home, you've already peeled off layers and you're wearing shorts and a shirt. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's Arkansas weather. We have crazy weather. Yeah. We have all four seasons. Uh, all four seasons. We, well, yeah. We have all, all four seasons in, in, through, uh, yeah, in a month. In a month. In a day, for that matter. It can feel springy-like. Then it'll kind of go fally like then it'll go wintery like then it'll go summery like you know it's like okay. which i was expecting to get up to it being blistery cold i should have known better when i woke up sweating this morning i had to get up and take a shower this morning before i got ready for work because uh, i was just sweaty i was a sweaty buddy okay i was sweaty buddy but anyway could be why I'm feeling a little flushed. You know, after you take a shower, when you're all just, you feel hot. You know, you're just like, ah, I don't know. Anyway, so I am vlogging on the way to work. Um, I brought my laptop so that way I can download it from here to my laptop, get it off, and then, um, and I will vlog again tomorrow on the way to work. And I did that. I used to do that, and then I just quit doing it. And the main reason I quit doing it was because the sun was so bright here through the window. You couldn't see me anyway, so I just kind of thought, yeah, I ain't going to do that no more. So, there's that. There, This part is supposed to be, like, curling up and over. But I guess because of the weather. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, my husband said was talking about well it's supposed to be like 30 something degrees you know which he was telling me in my husband's words you know it's supposed to be colder than a witch's tent I don't know how cold that is but obviously he's dated a witch before <laughs> that's how he knows anyway but it's not. It's I was like I said I was expecting to get up to a cold because he's been watching the weather and it was supposed to just be like freezing, which again the temperature could start dropping. And I did bring, um, I did bring a bigger coat because I you know I want to come prepared. Now, however, I had a long sleeve shirt on under my scrubs this morning, but after I stepped outside to bring my stuff in. I was like, oh, uh-uh, can't, no, mm, no, mm. not happening. It was warm out, and it is warm out now, which, you know, kind of makes me think of tornado weather, or, you know what I mean? It's just, if it starts getting real cold, which, I don't guess, I guess, I don't know if tornado weather is over here in Arkansas or not. 
I don't know, but I know it's real warm now and if that temperature starts dropping because it's supposed to be snowing about 3 o'clock. Now, having said that, the weatherman can miss it. You know, it is possible. I mean, you know, they usually, my husband always says, well, yeah, well, they call the weather, 50, it's 50% chance of whatever, and he always says, 50% chance, you know, you're gonna, if you say 50% chance, then you're gonna be right either way, so. Did y'all like my makeup this morning? I did it a little bit different. I was watching, um, uh, um, uh, Casey Holmes. I was watching her do her makeup. She was doing this quick mother's makeup routine. And, um, I know, I know, guys. She's young enough to be my daughter. And, y'all, yeah, she is. But, hi. Hi. I like the way she puts her makeup on. So, I was watching her. And she was showing a, um, easy way. Fast way. And I thought, well, you know what? Easy is. I'm all about easy. So I watched her, and I'm going to get some of it. She was using the uh, Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. Makeup Forever, Forever Makeup. So, I don't know. I can't remember the name of it, so I'll put it here. Anyway, she was um, wearing that, and it's a, it's a powder foundation, and I have always loved powder foundations. I have never, ever not like the powder foundation that I've ever tried. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing one now. It is a cheap, cheap powder foundation. It's made, sorry, I'm, I shouldn't say that because the companies are probably like, will you buy it, girl? How cheap can it be? But anyway, I can't even remember the name of it because it's an, it's a, it's kind of an offer. I showed you guys in my last, I think, get ready with me. No, I didn't. I used the Rimmel. Anyway, I'll put it right here. Sheesh. But I'm wearing it and I like it a lot. A lot. And I am wearing that new e.l.f. under eye concealer. And I'm also wearing that orange concealer, you know, right in there. So it doesn't it doesn't look as bad, I don't think. Of course I could be lying to myself. But I don't think it looks as bad. Yeah. So anyway, I put on I don't even know what palette I used. Oh, I used the Icon palette. If y'all remember, I think it was last summer, I got it. It's called the, it's the Icon palette. I don't know who it's by. I don't have a clue. But I'll show it to you guys in, a, in one of my makeup, get ready with me, makeup videos. But I got it at Ross's and I really like it. It has a lot of cute colors. And I kind of, you know how you kind of clean out your drawer, you put some of your palettes away and then you just use a few palettes that you're using. And then when you pull out the others, you're like, man, why have I been using these? So anyway, and I'm just wearing, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild paint pot, the white paint pot. And um, I'm only wearing two colors today. And then I'm wearing uh, in an off blue from that palette, that icon palette. So, anyway, I'm going to work, so I don't try to overdo it, you know? Anyway, and I did finally get some Physicians Formula eyeliner, Marler, Burnler. I don't wear lashes to work. Um, I might on a Friday, because on Fridays when I leave work, hubby and I may go out or may do stuff, so sometimes I will wear lashes on Friday, but never out. But anyway, and I'm wearing that Rimmel Lash, uh, Lash, Ex Lash, Lash Extender, whatever is supposed to make your eyelashes grow, but, and I didn't, I don't think I put, I did put a little bit on top of that of the Lancome Grandiose, and I put it on my, on my under eyes, under eyelashes, whatever you call those things, you know. Yeah, know those things. I can't think this morning. I'm just, yeah. Boy, I tell you what, guys. I slept hard. We come home from church yesterday. Well, we, yeah, we come home from church yesterday. And I put on my pajamas. I, I got out of my church clothes, put my pajamas on. We got on the, in the, on the couch, the recliner. And I 
got my blanket and I lay down in my recliner and I was watching watching videos YouTube videos and the next thing I knew I was sound asleep and my husband was like having to shake me to wake me up and tell me my phone was ringing that's how out I was I was exhausted and then after that I went back to sleep and it would seem like every time I woke up I just couldn't wake up I mean it was like ugh, and I'd go right back to sleep every single time and I thought dad dumb I'm not, I'm not like that I mean usually once I wake up I'm pretty good to go but I couldn't keep my eyes open yesterday. And then after church Sunday night, we came home. We um, got ready for bed. We kind of sat around the house a little while because we got home about 8 o'clock. So it was pretty early. And watched some Hallmark movies, repeats that I watched on Thursday. But that's okay because they're good ones. Anyway, and I found, I t about 10 o'clock, I told my husband, I'm going to bed. And other than the one time that I woke up sweating... My husband did too. It's like, man, what's going on? We have central heat, but we turn it down real low. It don't come on unless it is colder than a witch's, you know. Unless it's colder than one of my husband's girlfriends. <laughs> I'm just kidding to whoever out there may have dated my husband. Who didn't get him because I did, but, you know, sorry for you. Anyway, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, Yeah got up. We have a fan, but we don't have it on us. He said he got up in the middle of the night and turned it on us. I didn't feel a difference because I was still hot when I woke up. I was like, Burr. So that right there should have told me it was not cold outside, but anyway, shock. If it gets colder after a while, then we gonna... It says snow at 3 o'clock, okay? It's 749 right now. So we'll see where we go from here. So there's that. So I've talked for, what, 12 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, guys, um, it's going to be a good day today. I call it. It's um, maybe rainy, but I love the rain. If anybody knows me very well, they know the rain is my thing, okay? The rain is my thing. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain falling down on me. I feel the rain. The Holy Ghost rain. Feel the rain falling down on me. It's not the former or the latter. Sorry. There is a hair, like, I keep feeling it on my nose. Somewhere, it's on my face. And I don't like how my hair looks today. I didn't do anything to it. Well, I did too. That's a lie. That's a big fat lie. I'm lying fat now. I did use my flat iron to, you know, iron it out. <laughs> this is like clothing to iron it out. You know, to get the frisee out. And, um, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, stick it up. You know, I didn't, I didn't spike it anywhere. I just said I was going to leave it. And I had a hat I was going to wear to work. Because again, uh, my, I was going to wear my, um, to balking because I thought it was real cold out here and then I thought well if I do that then I'll mess my hair up which if I didn't do anything to my hair then I wouldn't have anything to mess up but I didn't need to because it was not cold outside by any means so I feel that hair again God damn it. so anyway guys I'm just rambling here I don't y'all don't want to hear my rambling I don't have anything really fun to tell you that I know of. Um, future plans. What are y'all doing for Thanksgiving? I hope everybody's going to have a good Thanksgiving with their families. We are the day before Thanksgiving. Um, our family, the Johnson family, um, you know, all the brothers, all the wives, all the great kids, all of us, we play golf. We go on the golf course and we play golf. And that gives the children a way to learn about golf. And, um, us women who are not very good, you know, gives us a chance to play golf. And of course, the men they just, you know, they just call it a fun day because there's no really seriousness about it because you know they have us and the grandkids. But that's okay because that's the whole point. And we're gonna go the day before Thanksgiving. The golf course that we go to, which is down by our house, by the way. Um, 
the guy that owns it, the guy and his wife, had told my husband and his brother that if we wanted to play on Thanksgiving Day, they're closed on Thanksgiving Day. But if the Johnsons wanted to play on Thanksgiving Day, then he would let us have the whole course all by ourselves and put out some parts for us, you know, for us. But we said no, which he said, change your mind, just give me a call because, you know, they said we don't do that very often, but we will offer it to the Johnsons. Probably because my husband and his brothers are always on the golf course. Always. At least one day a week or sometimes two days a week. Yeah. But anyway, but we're going the day before. The day before Thanksgiving is the Johnson's annual golf um, day. And then on Thanksgiving Day, everybody, I guess, you know, I'm not really sure. I don't even know which, which of my kids are... are having Thanksgiving, yay, nay, or not, my husband kind of just decided he and I would probably just go out and eat for Thanksgiving. And because the day after Thanksgiving, we are headed to Branson, Missouri. Um, we're going to go up there, stay the night, but Black Friday happens to be on that day too, so we are going shopping. Um, I don't know, the guys had kind of talked about going to Rolling Hills and play golf while me and Kathy shop don't know, said they were, don't know if they are not, but anyway, we're going shopping on Black Friday in Branson, Missouri, we're going to stay the night, we're going to go see a show, um, you remember me talking about Samson at the big theater, you know, it's live, it's, it's, it's not a show on a screen, it's live, it's people, and, um, we're going to go watch the Christmas story there, so that's going to be fun, and we're going to go watch See the Lights, because Branson is lit up like crazy. Um, November and December. So, anyway, we 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 gonna go out town on that day. So it's gonna be a pretty busy three days. Well, except for Thanksgiving. And like I said, one of my kids asked what we were doing, and I don't think she invited us, but she probably was going to. But we all got sidetracked because we were talking about the week. So anyway, there's I am. So what do you guys do for Thanksgiving? Let me know. Tell me down below, okay? Because I like to know. I like to know what my friends are doing for Thanksgiving. So, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you guys are, are planning on doing. Okay, guys. Well, I'm almost to the road to where I work. And um, I've talked all the way from home to here all, a whole lot about nothing. But yet, ooh, sure we. I smell a skunk. Happy Le Pew! <laughs> I didn't hit him. Somebody must have just hit him though. Woo! Dogs. He stinks. Man oh man oh man. Woo! Yeah. My perfume today is going to be Pepe. I'm going to say everybody says, oh, what's that perfume? It's called Pepe. Pepe Le Pew. Pepe by Le Pew. <laughs> Get it, Pepe by Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. Get it, her. Okay, guys, I'm also I'm almost at work, so I need to shut up and get off of here. And I will catch you guys in the morning, and then I'll tell you in the morning what happened today. Like if it started, if it actually started snowing, which still it's hot. I don't see it snowing at three o'clock, but anyway, we'll see. All right, guys, later. Hey guys, okay, today is Tuesday, day after Monday, and. Um, take my ear muscles so I, can, so I can hear me talk, you know what I'm saying? Um, it is cold outside. I don't know what the temperature is, but let me tell you, it's brisk. Very, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see me. See, this is, the sun's out. Okay, maybe that'll help. Anyway, very cold. <coughs> it was snowing just a while ago. I'm going to just a while ago when I left the house. It's not now. Yesterday, you know, I told y'all on the way to work that it was supposed to snow or an ice. Well, it sleeted, it was sleet and rain mixed together, and it sleeted rain off and on all day yesterday. But it didn't really start sticking till like after dark, you know, like when it started, you know, getting dark. And there was a few slick spots on my road. But. It was cold last night. There was like ice drops off of the porch. 
coming down my consumer's house. There was, <laughs> yeah, it was cold. It was very cold. But the temperature did start, but the, you know, I told you it's going to have to get a lot colder than this before it snows and or whatever. And it did. It got a lot colder. It, the, t one, the temperature started dropping, and when it started dropping, it started dropping fast. By the time I got home, it was so cold. You you couldn't breathe. I mean, it, it was it was so cold. And this morning is kind of like that. It's just it's one of those that kind of cuts you. You know, the air is just brisk. It's just like brisk, briskly cold. So anyway, getting a little warm. So I'm on my way to work. Woo, I have some air. Turn that heat down. Um, on my way to work, today's the last day of my 16 hour shifts, and then I'm off tomorrow and Thursday. And then if it wants to snow, sleet, nice over on the roads, that's fine with me. I'm good. I'll be home for, you know, for those two days. But anyway, the sun's out this morning, and the sun has done, well, the sun and all the cars have done melted all the ice off the road. So now on my road, going to my house, there's places like where the water runs across the road and that was all ice and there was a couple of spots on the road that was still iced over so man my stomach hurts guys I feel like I'm hungry but I don't really think I am I know that's weird get to work I'm gonna have to have a banana or something because my stomach is just like killing me I don't know what the deal is I just you know anymore lately in the morning time, my stomach just bothers me all the time. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, and that was a rabbit trail I just took off on. <clears throat> so, there's what happened yesterday. And we were out in it because uh, we had, my consumer had appointment. Had a doctor's appointment. And, um, yeah. So, I'll tell you something I learned yesterday. Did you know, I don't know if you guys know what CBD oil is. You can get it at the health food store. It's kind of an oil that they get off. It's an oil that they get off the marijuana plant or off the stem or something. But it's not, they've taken out anything and everything that makes you high. But it is a, it's an herb or something. Um. Hang on. Sorry, my, that was my husband pulled over on the side of the road. We left the same time because he put gas in my car for me because I was cold. But anyway, um, hubby left his phone, so I can't call him or he can't call me today. Anyway, um, yesterday we found out that if you are taking CBD oil, which you can get it at the health food store, okay? If you're taking CBD oil, there's a lot of doctors that will not see you. And let me tell you something. I have witnessed the CBD oil help people. If you have bipolar, if you're bipolar, it helps. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. And I guess doctors just don't like it because it puts them out of business, you know. It heals you instead of kills you, you know what I'm saying. And it's really not, it's not a drug because they took anything that made you high, they took out of it. So it's its not a drug. It's the oil off the plant. And, and they said, the, the health food store had said that they take it off the plant, but there's nothing in it that makes you high. Anything and everything that has to do with the marijuana plant that makes you high, that has been taken out. So there you have it. But anyway, did y'all know that? That most doctors won't see you if they find out you're taking the CB or CBD oil. It's an oil that you take a dropper or even a half a drop and you put it under your tongue. Hold it a few seconds, you know, and, the, and it gets in your system quickly. And I have witnessed a person who now can was having trouble going to the bathroom and everything else. I've witnessed this person already better from taking the CBD oil. No lie. No lie. Which tells me that's why doctors don't want to condone it because if it heals you, then they no longer have a patient, do they? Guys, I am at my work. I'm turning in, so I'm um, going to get off of here.
and I will I'm putting up a video tomorrow I have one already done I think it's a get ready with me if I remember right I will put it up tomorrow tomorrow's my day off so and we're just gonna keep this thing going and now that I can I'm bringing my laptop with me I can upload some videos from here so anyway yes I'm allowed to do that so anyway guys I will uh, will continue this vlog later so bye why do they have Abby or Des on here twice? I don't know, but I none don't. of none of that is correct. Absolutely none of it. Not even the doctor. Your pharmacy is your pharmacy correct on there? You know that the overcount of drugs work just as good as the dagging prescription drugs. Some of them do if well, they're the numbers yeah. not right. Well, if I get a cough, I Address you know I get right. a cough for you know the off. Over the counter car, so yeah. good. Yeah, definitely. I, just, I get the nighttime and the daytime. And I'm a male, not a female. Well, like I said, there's none of that information on there, and I did text her to tell her I need a new face sheet on that. And so I just. I'll call her in the morning. Tell her she needs.